Looks like we're gonna have to do a little hood modification. Well, it fits on this just fine, so it should fit the pro bow. So, this is an S480 from uh, Mr. Mori, 2K Mori, over at uh, Interstate. Uh, I texted him the other day and I was like, or I had the idea that since I don't have a charger or I'm down for a week, I was like, I wonder if anyone has one that I can try out that's just insane. So, 480, 97, it's massive, but we're gonna, thanks to Mori for let me use this. We're gonna see if we can't just get this to bolt up to the first gen and then just see what happens. Let it rip. Tight converter and a big charger probably won't mix, but so we're here to find out. So we gotta swap, I think, feed and drain. No, not the drain, that's dash 10, just feed. And then we'll get to hooking this on the old first gen. And you guys get a video this weekend and you guys thought you weren't going to. So hopefully everything lines up i think the exhaust housing is a tad bit bigger in the center section so hopefully we don't have to modify anything that's the whole goal it's just to have this bolt up and go rip so we're gonna get this thrown in Spacer. We already have a spacer. Oh, we need a bigger spacer. Shit. Nope. The next day. All right, when we left off, the spacer wasn't big enough. So I got on the old Amazon tier, found a T4 one inch spacer that should hopefully give us our clearance that we need. So. Half inch spacer. One inch. I think maybe if we just loosen these studs a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't loosen them too much. Just to like, you know, and that way we might not even need to. We'll put your spacer on there and see what. Well, it's gonna be if we do like that much. I think those, those ones are a little tight. So you're thinking if we just unscrewed them like a couple threads and put the spacer on, there would be enough there for a nut to get a hold of? Just enough engagement should be a trick. Truth. Not gonna be able to. I guess we can at least see if it will fit. Like a globe. Like a globe. Nice. How much room you got? Just enough. Just enough. Up. 
I mean, it should, it should be close enough. how much boost this old girl is going to push. I hope this just sounds sick. Okay. Three. So we good? Yeah. Well, you, you, did you tighten up here? Yeah. Okay. And the bottom one's on. Yep. Feeds on, drains on. So let's shut the hood and see how what our clearance is. Gonna have to go down a little bit. I thought it would just be other you gonna tighten up that or leave it? Contact. The GoPro won't be the GoPro won't be bright enough for these guys to have our reaction. So let's just get the get head this fit. We can probably we can just shove it up a little bit more. Oh, this clearance. and then we'll let it warm up. Maybe like just, just mess around do right a little here test in the driveway dig. and not actually drive it. So we're not cheating them guys. And then tomorrow after work we'll come and we'll hook up the GoPro and we'll go have some. Go. It'll go kill do me it. to not do it, but well, better better safe than sorry. Grand Rock Hood Stack Kit. Just barely, aren't we? Yeah, just barely. Looks like we're gonna have to do some cleansing. <laughs> Plus, a little hammer can't. So, got the big hammer. Need some clearance, Clarence. <laughs> like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> and I won't start it.
clearly tight converters and the big turbo stuff. But we are going to go drive it until tomorrow. Yeah, mine didn't do that the last time. trying to put a big ass S480 with a race cover, you need a one inch spacer. So yeah, we're not going to go drive this tonight. We want to get the GoPros and they suck in low light. So tomorrow me and the pops will go take her out on the road and see what happens. It's going to suck today. Tomorrow's going to be a long ass day. But <laughs> well, at least we know it works now. Yeah, no oil leaks or anything, so we should be good to go for tomorrow. And hopefully we can get it to spool. It's just such a tight. I mean, you can tell as I get going faster and faster, you can like hear it trying. Yeah. It's just, it's huge. Huge. 10, 11 millimeter bigger. On the front, the back side's like, I don't even know how much bigger. So. So yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. We have fuel. The maiden voyage. I figured I'll probably go up on the highway first, not get on it, and see if we can build any boost. And then cruise around. Go from there. So we're supposed to go the next day. Oh, yeah, we got distracted yesterday. So we have not drove it in two days. Yeah, it hasn't same. been drove in like what two weeks, three weeks? At least. First drive since the turbo destruction. So what happened to the old turbo? Over spun. I'll, I'll go over that when we get the I didn't think we have we have bigger plans, let's just say that. The new setup is yeah. Mexico is bad. Okay, clear. so you don't have to. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> FYI, S480 is too big. Now some would say you can never have a big enough turbo. Guess it depends on what you're needing it for, right? Depends on your definition of big is. Streets of Mexico are a little, a little bit bad. Yeah, it's just bad time. Oh yeah, it's 5.30. Yeah, that's what I mean. Everybody's... Pretty sure that's a problem. Um, this is 
not a cop, it's a policia. <laughs> it's a Ford. I think. El Chapel? No, it's nothing to see here, officer. <laughs> right? No, it's not. Como esta, muchacho? Why is a hood stacked Cummins just sitting at the end of a super straight street? I would just let your idle warm, warm up, get up to operating, Tim. Like all at once, like because I can't get it to light. Yeah. Light. Well, but it seems like your other. Well, it's smaller. It's yeah. Light. Uh, still in one piece. Yep. Don't worry, Maury. Your turbo's still alive. It didn't do what the last one did. Well, now you know. You have a 12 out. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. I bet a converter would have done a good amount. So this isn't really a fair test because. We we're pretty sure my converter stock stall. So it's on the list. It'll happen this winter for next season. But um, yeah, did all right. I don't know. It's tough to tell. Like it's more air. And like you, but it's not instant. So like I can't tell, you know, what the, what the difference is or isn't. You know what I mean? But we didn't have long enough drag strip to really give it a test either so that's yeah it's just hard to tell i mean it flows in my air like right out here it, i mean it was ripping yeah oh yeah so i think it's there but it's just a little bit too big for our application so all right see so <laughs> yeah you guys have a 12 valve with a s480 it'll light it but not till about bottom of fourth gear <laughs> And then we will hopefully I'll get my charger coming back, my new charger coming back. And then we'll see you guys in the next Halloween special video, I guess you would say. And then hopefully my turbo's back and we can film some of that. And then, yeah, not the best success. But all in good, all in testing for you guys. Good test, yes. So now you know. And I'm pretty sure this housing's like a one, 110. I can't remember exactly. So it's everything about this charger is just big. Huge. Huge. So, yeah. That's this weekend's video. I thought I was going to have this for you guys last Saturday. As I said in the video, I was like, oh, psych, you guys thought you weren't going to get a video. But you realize you really didn't get a video until this Saturday. So, my bad. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, yeah.